Hello and welcome. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable or disable the function keys in Windows 10. There are multiple ways to do this. For instance, you can change the settings in your BIOS menu, or you hopefully have a relatively new keyboard that has an FN lock key on it. So in the old days, Windows only had function keys set at the F keys. While these function keys still exist, you now also have action or hotkeys that you use for stuff like turning the volume up or down, entering flight mode, and so on. We start with the first method, where we try to activate the FN lock key. If it doesn't work, skip to the next method where we change the settings in the BIOS menu. Some keyboards have a dedicated FN lock key. Search for this on your keyboard first and try enabling or disabling the function keys by pressing on the key. Dell and Lenovo laptops often have the FN lock key set on the escape key. So to enable or disable the function keys, you need to press FN and escape. HP laptops or keyboards often use the combination FN and shift lock or control and FN. For Asus, it is often the keyboard combination FN and insert or FN and shift lock. If none of these work, you can always search for your model specifically. Otherwise, skip to the next method where I show you how to change this in the BIOS settings. To enter the BIOS, you need to restart your PC. For my laptop, I can enter the BIOS by hitting F2 during boot. This can be different for other models. Then I need to switch to the main tab. Here you have the setting Function Key Behavior. It's this setting that you need to change from Media Key to Function Key. After this, hit the F10 key to save and exit the BIOS settings. So for people with other brands, it might be that your BIOS menu is slightly different. For instance, for Dell laptops, the function key behavior setting can be found in the advanced tab instead of the tab main. Hopefully you are able to enable or disable the function keys with one of these methods. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.